got another little project to do today and that is to my workbench I uh, recently did a partial clear up obviously I've got a bunch of junk here but I'd like to get all these into a bar like this that is stuck on the end of the workbench so all the handles are pointing up and that will help me keep them sorted and out of the way and off the workbench because that's one of the problems when you pile up a lot of junk you can't use it. Uh, one of them is a chisel. Uh, the chisel I'm going to try and protect it, the bottom of it, because I might be reaching underneath you know, for something. So I want to protect it by sliding one of these over. I'd already bought one of these little sets to do some other stuff with pipe threads. This is one of those uh, PVC risers. It's a half inch PVC riser. And it fits over the end of the chisel nicely. So if I can screw that into the bottom of the wood using this as a tap, which and hopefully this 5 8 will be a sufficient drill size so I can jam that in and get some thread in it. And then I can put this in. And that will give me a little cover. So first of all I'm going to set up the line where I'm going to drill everything and uh, we'll go from there. I'm just going to draw a line down the middle of the wood. Roughly in the middle. Yeah, it really doesn't matter if it's that exact. Uh, so I'm measuring the gaps for the screwdrivers and it'll work with an inch between most of them. Uh, but this, I've got two screwdrivers that are a bit fatter so I'm going to have to give it an inch and a quarter for that one and this one on the spacing. But all the others can be an inch. These can be a lot smaller. And rather than just put a pencil mark on, I'm just going to go straight ahead and use a center punch to mark off spacings. So this one's three quarters from the end. Be a nice hole to drill. And I'm going to come in an inch and a quarter. And I'm going to do inches. Right, so I've got the first few holes marked. I put little marks with, you know, a trump pen on there, a sharpie. Uh, X's are for the Phillips crossheads. Straight lines for the flats. I've got a box end device. Got a chisel. That's the chisel. Now I'm going to start putting these in. These I probably won't drill all the way through. I'll just drill partially into them. All right. So it looks like it was a good idea. I got this drill set with a three eighths and a half inch drill because these are going to take a um, half inch drill to clear the screw heads, these will take a 3 8 got a 3 8 there's a half inch, so that should make it easy. So for the chisel, I'm going to use this larger drill on the back side, but I need to do a pilot drill all the way through because of the, the little screw feature that this Bosch drill bit has. So I'm going to pilot drill from the top side and then come through from the back and I'll probably have to drill the front side back to a regular size. Pilot drill through. So I'm just going to drill about halfway through. Right, now we're going to see if we can tap this side. It's working. I'm going to check the thread. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but I 
do believe I'm getting a thread in here, at least a little bit of one. I'll see if the uh, riser fits. Is the riser? It's getting tight. Just tape it. Maybe a couple more turns with the tap, and then I can just put this in. It just sit there. It's quite sturdy. I want to make sure that I don't go too deep, so I've kind of marked on this screwdriver the depth of the hole, and I've transferred that depth to here. So somewhere around this second mark, I need to stop this lower mark. I need to stop putting the thread in. Then I know I won't hit the bottom of the hole and rip all the threads out. protected and I'm protected. I will be probably brushing past this corner so I'm going to use this stir form to take the edge off of that corner. Which is just give it one hand but I'm going to use both hands. I'll do some kind of a nice radius on that corner. Hopefully in they'll sand it, get rid of the splinters. This is the tap drill I'm going to use. It's a 1 8 tap drill for this. So it's, it's smaller than the OD, and it's actually a little bit smaller than the bottom of the thread. So I'm going to drill that through the piece of wood, and I'm going to hold the piece of wood onto the end of the workbench. I'll be holding it onto the end of the workbench up here, and then we'll drill it through. Okay, so the picture looks upside down now, but I am not working in space. So I'm drilling through the hole I've already drilled. Drill the other one on this side. Take the piece of wood off. Now I'm going to finish tap drilling because this drill is not three inches deep. So I need to go deeper into the wood. hole in this piece of wood, go to the full-size clearance hole, and put the screws in. Right now the cement truck has passed by. I'm going to squirt a bit of WD-40 into these holes. That will help the screw go in. Whoa! Easy there. Okay, here we go. load it up and we'll be finished. And there it is, the finished work of art. So I've got all the screwdrivers and punches and all the little things that were on the workbench right here. Now they're over there. Job done. Right, what's next?